Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Demon's Crest. Let's not waste any time, let's head straight into the new area that's been a lot last time, Sunken Aqueduct. Pretty awesome level. It's got a sort of lost Atlantis feel and uh, breaking statues just to show off that I still love doing it. And uh, showing off the aerial gargoyle who's got sort of a pterodactyl thing going for him. Uh, he can go up, like you saw. He's very versatile. Uh, he can't latch onto walls, unfortunately. That's his uh, downfall. He's, I don't, don't think he's any weaker than anything. His normal hit will do two hits of damage to whatever's weak to it, but there's a lot of stuff that, like anything that's metal or like has a hard shell, it won't affect. It'll just, like, it won't even do one hit of damage. So it's a double-edged sword, kind of. Now this upper section of the aqueduct uh, encourages you to use both the Earth Gargoyle and the Aerial Gargoyle. There's a lot of spikes, so it's good to have the Aerial Gargoyle. And the Earth Gargoyle is useful for uh, destroying all those statues that we'll be seeing. As, a, as you saw, the Aerial Gargoyle shoots off those uh, scythe things. Showing off the shock spell, because I hadn't before, it's pretty useful. I'm not sure if it destroys stuff that's in midair as well, but definitely destroys stuff that's on the ground, which is why I used it here, because I knew that all the enemies were on the ground. But uh, don't quote me on it not being able to shoot stuff in midair, because I don't know. You could use a claw there. You're kind of stupid though, because you already have the hilariously useful uh, aerial gargoyle. The little pit there, you might notice. It's kind of there to trap you, but using this and screwing it up, we, we were able to come back up. But yeah. <clears throat> Level isn't much longer. I tried to uh, hit the with the ground dasher the first time, but I wasn't far away enough, but I, I did it eventually. This boss that's coming up is, in my opinion, the strangest boss in the game. This is one of the uh, one of the two bosses that your uh, your time fighting him will be based off of luck. There he is. Uh, I'm not going to introduce him until he's uh, properly formed, but uh, this is one of those bosses that, depending on what he does in the fight, you will either have a very easy or a very difficult time. The next boss is like this, but th this boss is considerably worse, in my opinion. Uh, he is completely easy this time, because he doesn't do some of the dickish things he can usually do. Uh, which is a shame, because he really wanted to show it off. Okay, also, this is the Crawler. He is the only boss whose weakness is the Ground Gargoyle's air shot. It will do two damage to him, everything else will do one damage. Unless you have the really powerful stuff that you can only get after beating this boss. So, yeah. It's kind of strange, in my opinion, that everything this guy uses is weak against the ground. I mean, I don't know, like, also, uh, notice his movements. This boss can be really hard if he decides that he wants to pin you on one side. He will just keep going to the right and crush you there. At which point you have to go behind him and wait for him to back away and then go back in front of him, which can put you in the way of his shots and make the fight actual, actually kind of hard. Here he's just a real joke because he doesn't actually do that, so... I guess, you know, I've got no other choice but to destroy him like I do every other boss. Just completely... I think I get hit once or twice, and that's it. And it's really because I got too cocky. Like here, I should have shot that thing in midair, but I thought, no, it's not going to hit me, I'm, I'm far enough. Nope, it didn't happen. And he's dead already. He sort of has a half-fearful eye close when he dies there, it's kind of cool. And he drops another crest! Oh boy, two in a row! The Crest of Water, it allows us to turn into the Tidal Gargoyle and allow us to finally swim in water and not get hurt. Show me, be showing that off next video. But before that, I gotta go back here and grab something I missed. Well, not that I missed, but you'll see. So beating the Crawler opens up this thing. If you die during the Crawler and you come back, this will also be open and the Crawler will be waiting for you in that room. But basically, we gotta break this statue for a very, uh, very useful life up. Because you never get, you never have enough life in this game. Well, he's going back to the city now. Show off what the uh, town gargoyle thinks of our new, uh, our new aerial form. Not the tile form quite yet. We'll show that off next video. I don't want to do everything at once. And he says we look like a really good flyer, and we should be able to fly in strong winds, like I said. Haven't really been able to show that off, but if we went back to Armas Tower, that area with all the wind, we'd be able to glide through there easily. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time as we go through the lower path of the aqueduct. See you guys then.